சாத்து தீர்கால நைரந்தரிய சத்கார சேவித்தோ விதபூமிகி சாத்து தீர்கால நயந்தரிய சத்கார சேவித்தோ விதபூமிகி சாத்து தீர்கால நயந்தரிய சத்கார சேவித்தோ திருதபூமிகி ஹியர் திருதபூமிகி மீன்ஸ் ஃபேம்லி கிரவுண்டட் திருத பூமி மீன்ஸ் ஐ திங்க் யூர் ஆல் நோ பூமி மீன்ஸ் எர்த் த பட் ஆல்சோ மீன்ஸ் த ஃபவுண்டேஷன் கிரவுண்டட் ஓகே திருத பூமி மீன்ஸ் கம்ப்ளீட்லி எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ்ட் பிகம் ஃபேம் இன் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் பிகமிங் வெரி ஃபேம் இன் ஃபவுண்டேஷன் பிகமிங் கிரவுண்டட் so what will make, what practice will make which kind of practice will make grounded three things is mentioned by patanjali magari sister one is dirga kala any practice that is been done for dirga dirga means longer kala means time dirga kala any practice that we are doing for very long time second thing is he is mentioning about nairantarya nairantarya means uninterrupted without any break so any abhyasa any practice we are doing without any break also very important and the third thing is mentioning here is satkaraha so satkaraha means with love and devotion so here three things when we are combining it as a translation here any practice any abhyasa any practice when continued for a very longer time that is dirga kala without any break nairantarya with love and devotion satkaraha becomes firm in foundation okay so very important so we very important sutra for us to remember and get our self grounded and follow agnana timurandasya nanajana salakya saksur unmatam yena tasmay shri guruve namaha today we are going to discuss a beautiful sutra which holds the key to unlock our inner potency and achieve true liberation as we all know the practice of yoga involves physical mental and spiritual aspects that come together to create a holistic approach to the well being this sutra teaches us that regular and dedicated practice with a sense of reverence is the path to achieve the mastery in yoga it reminds us that our efforts in yoga must be sincere focused and prolonged with a deep sense of reverence through consistent and dedicated practice we can cultivate our inner strength deepen our connection with ourselves and ultimately reach a state of profound tranquility and liberation it's a powerful reminder of the transformative power of yoga and the importance of approaching our practice with reverence dedication and sincerity however success may inflate the ego of sadhakas and we should be prepared and careful not to become a victim of this intellectual pride which may drag us away from enlightenment if this happen we should reestablish our practices by taking guidance from a competent mentor or through our own discrimination so that humility replaces pride and spiritual wisdom dawn this is correct practice another very important thing which is suggested is that there should be no interruption once a momentum is created you cannot do yoga for only a few days and just leave it it has to continue day after day every day without a break for months and years and even for our lifetime all these efforts build up and only then the results can be achieved but we are warned that the efforts should not be mechanical but should be made with feelings and sincerity if the actions are done casually and irresponsibly we do not get involved that is why there is a concept of bhavas bhavas are inner experiences the asanas are just an external meanings to achieve it the experience must be felt stored and built upon that is how changes occur while the ultimate goal according to yoga sutra is yoga chitta vritta nirodha 
this sutra can also be applied to all our activities the main thing is that we are voluntarily trying to bring about the desired change in ourselves to do this it is necessary to sustain the impulse from ourselves therefore whenever we wish to maintain our impulse we have to work for long durations and keep the intentions very strong and clear we will have to put in a lot of efforts set a regular practice schedule whenever you prefer to practice yoga it is whether it is in the morning evening or during lunch break commit to that particular time and place this helps to establish a sense of discipline and consistency in your practice set a regular time on a day don't change the timing start slow and build up don't rush into difficult poses or advanced sequences if you are new to this yoga begin with a simple poses and build up your strength and flexibility gradually this allow your body to adapt to the practice and reduces the risk of injury practice regularly even if it is just for a few minutes even a short yoga practice can be beneficial if you are short on time practice a few simple poses or take a few minutes to focus on your breath use props to support your practice yoga props such as blocks blankets and straps can help you achieve proper alignment in poses and make your practice more accessible focus on your breath the breath is an integral part of yoga practice focus on your breath and use it to guide your movements this helps to calm the mind and brings a meditative quality to the practice remember the practice of yoga is a journey not a destination approach your practice with an open mind be patient with yourself and enjoy the journey there is also an another solution recommended by some sages that is to fulfill one's desire in ways that actually serve others for example if one desires wealth if you desire wealth you sum up your wealth in the service of others so this will bring this practice into the real life so let us commit to our practice and continue to evolve and grow as we walk the path to true, true liberation and kaivalya thank you for watching this video namaste om tat sat om tat sat om tat sat please subscribe to our vedi books youtube channel by clicking on the bell icon